Hi everyone. Um, I have an automatic Internet of Things pet feeder here. I think you put kibble in it and then it dispenses the kibble. It has a camera, I guess, so you can look at your pet uh, eating if you're into that for some reason. Um, I found this at the thrift store. It was 13 bucks. I was not going to get it, but Maker Block, you should go look at him on Twitter, said he would give me $13. He PayPal'd me $13 to pick this thing up and tear it apart and see what's inside. So we're going to tear it apart today. All right, so I think where we're going to start is it looks like looking in here, I can see some bosses for screws that seem to hold the bottom on and they look like they're underneath these rubber pads. So I think we'll start with that. I didn't realize that this thing also takes batteries. It's like 3D cells, maybe? Either way, it doesn't matter. I had a, a power supply for it, but yeah, why don't we start tearing this thing apart? was easy. Um, let's see if I can dump these screws out without losing them. That's uh, their their car deal was just like, what the fuck is going on? People are showing up at my house, taking yeah. stuff and going home with it. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that came off, but there's this dumb cable. Yeah, but it goes. Oh, all right. So we have to take this. Is this two pieces? It looks like it would be two pieces, right? Maybe not. Well, it goes under there somehow. There's two screws. Oh, all right. And out they come. Yeah. And interesting. People said it was going to be a stepper, but that just looks like a brush DC motor. So there's a there's a brush DC and then a switch to let you know how far it's gone. Mm, that's right. a very crude encoder, isn't it? It's like it's four. four step for a per, uh, rotation encoder. Yeah. That's all you need. I mean, you're just <laughs> pouring dog food out, right? It this, doesn't have to be that precise, I this suppose. Is, this is interesting. It's like a brush DC motor mated to like the gearbox that they put on those. Um, it looks like... aim too high. To oh, this. yeah. So the gearbox here looks like the gearbox that you see in those like AC synchronous motors like that you see in like a microwave oven turntable. Like it looks just like one of those, but it's got a little DC motor on the back. So let me get some wire cutters and cut that. Oh, I see. It, it has to go out the other direction. All right. Now, where do we disassemble from here? Um, and I just noticed, so this is like the, the chute that the dog food or cat food or whatever pours out of, and there was wires coming, and it's like an optical sensor, it looks like, so it can tell when you're out of food, like the beam traverses the interior of this funnel thing. Now that you know it's there. Yeah. See yeah. That's probably why the little alarm light was blinking. Oh. Yeah, because there's no dog food in it. Oh, look how easy that comes apart. I was thinking I was going to have to get a spudger or something, but that was easy. Alright, right. what's... Oh, Alright, well that comes out. Oh. Has it always been easy to pull out? I don't know, I never checked. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Let's set that aside. There's not much to that. Um, oh look, you can see here, this is why it's holding at the top, it has these little like snap things on each side. And it looks like here is our brain, or part of it? No, there's the brain's all up here maybe. This is just the camera board maybe, huh? I think, that's where the camera is. Yeah. I it might be an off-the-shelf part if we're lucky. Yeah, I wonder if it would interface with a Raspberry Pi. It... There we go. 
Okay, so there's a little camera. It has a person on it. Why? Okay. Well, um, let's look at the brain. When in doubt, just use brute force. Let's take this off, liberate this board here. What, what could that be? It has just one wire going to it. Antenna's my best guess. Ah, that makes sense, yes. This is an Internet of Things dog feeder, so it probably needs an antenna. Does anyone need an Internet of Things dog feeder, really? Uh, apparently, at least one person had decided that they didn't really need one. Right. Oh, here's our microphone. I wonder what the microphone does. Do you think it takes voice commands? It doesn't seem smart enough for that. This is basically the whole thing here. Um, camera. CPU of some kind. Um, interesting. Oh, look, look at this. Maybe this is why it got tossed out. Look at this cap. That doesn't oh. look good. It's, it's not exploded but it's bulged and the um this plastic stuff is all peeled back so looks like this cap got really hot yeah. and there's and it leaks look at there's it's like all weird. nasty stuff on the board here yeah so as you can see let's get this focused here see that cap was very unhappy and it just barfed up all its stuff onto the board and its neighbor um Probably if I replace the cap, then this thing would work again, but I don't care. Another product felled by bad caps. Oh, look at this shit. You put in like a micro SD card in here. That does look like a micro SD card so without a micro SD card. Yeah, but that wasn't something you could have accessed like inside the machine. Oh yeah, look, there's a slot here. What the hell? Why would you put an SD card? What, do you think it saves like pictures of your pet on a, an SD card or something? <laughs> so you can look and see like all the times your dog ate? That's interesting. I'm gonna have to look this up a little bit more because I'm curious now. All right, that's totally a SD, micro SD card slot we missed earlier. Yeah. All right, let's take this out of here. Oh, this comes out. All right. All right. Okay. Let's save that thing. Look that up later. First thing I'm hoping for is a series of pads that look like a programming interface. Not uh, obviously so. No, huh? Well, here, you want to look at it? Yeah. Let me see what else is on this board. LEDs, electric mic. Yeah, not much to it. There's some kind of scum on that thing. I don't know. Oh, there's a little crystal oscillator. Maybe this is the wireless board over here. Look at this little board that's stuck on the board. It's yeah, right next to the right antenna, here. so that's probably the wireless thing huh haha <laughs> yeah yeah do not throw away do not touch what does that mean it looks like the hand is holding something and it has very long fingernails These are, I don't know what these were. They're like little gates to block the mm -hmm. stuff from going in. Yep. And they're just little like floppy silicone rubber, it feels like. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is like the food stirrer. And it's also rubber. What? You have to drop into the hole. Yeah, it's got to stir around and push that food into the hole. And then I guess this, once it's in the hole, continues to start. Four portions. Yeah. Which makes sense, because it has those four nubs on the encoder, I guess. So mm -hmm. if you have a small dog, you do one notch. And yeah. Big dog, you do four notches. I feel like that's not that much food, even for a big dog. Four of them, I guess it, it probably isn't necessarily one-to-one. -one. Maybe like 
a small dog gets four of these and a big dog gets 12 of them. Oh, okay. Multiple locations. I, I assume, because look how little food that would be. Like, that's, that's hardly any food. Uh -huh. It's like a Yorkie who might eat that, but, yeah. And it's just counting rotations, so. Yeah. Probably you can tell it how many your dog gets per day. Yeah, you could probably get very specific with it, right? Get rid of all this plastic. I control how much food my cat eats. I wish that I have to make the form of I mean, I'd probably be, be all grumpy like he is in the morning when like, <laughs> he's all mad and like I get up and then he wants me to go out and feed him. And then instead I go to the shower and then when he sees I'm going to the shower instead of going out to feed him, then he claws my feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, this can come out of here, I guess. Fine. This is a uh, um, system on a chip with a ARM CPU core and um, embedded H.264 video encoder. Oh. So it's designed for a webcam. Cool. Well, I'm going to look up this webcam right now and see what I can find. Okay, so this is a tiny little battery. This doesn't want to focus, but look at that little battery on there. Tiny little thing. And this is an ARM V5, you said? ARM V5, which is uh, older than the first generation of Raspberry Pis, right? So um, this thing is kind of old. Roger right now is looking up people's attempts to hack this combo. People have had some stuff up on GitHub about hacking these. Um, so it'd be kind of cool to hack this. It'd be nice to do something with it of a Wi-Fi camera for something. So, anyhow, let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so here are all the parts. We've got this thing completely disassembled. Um, why don't we start down here at the bottom? So this is the cover for the battery tray. This is the base of the unit. It's where the batteries reside. You see go right there. It held a toggle switch a barrel jack and some stick-on rubber feet. The motor, which is a little DC brushed motor with a gearbox, would fit on top right here. And then this piece of the unit would go on top of that. Um, over here we have a little speaker that would go in this speaker grill. And we have this micro switch that pressed against these little nubs so that this thing would know how many rotations it's made. Up here we have the mechanism that actually moves the food through the unit. Uh, we have like a little rubber paddle thing and we have some silicone brushes and we have this spinning paddle thing and what that does is it stirs the, the dog food or the cat food that sits in the bottom of here and that lets it fall through and then it falls into this funnel here. This funnel was equipped with an IR detector and an IR emitter so that the unit can detect um, I guess whether the dog food needs to be replaced or whether you have a jam or whatever. Uh, this is the front of your case, this is the back of your case, this is the bucket that holds the food and it's removable so you can clean it and wash it. Here we have a camera and we have the video processor board up here. This is uh, where you have the SD card which I think from looking at the literature on this thing, this would let you record video or audio of your pet. Um, th this is the Wi-Fi module over here and this is the antenna. And this is a little control panel with your um, really basic UI if you're not using the phone. And I think that's all of it. It looks like out of everything here, I'm probably going to be saving just these rubber feet, this switch, this barrel jack, this motor, this speaker, and this switch. I, and I guess maybe the IR emitter and detector. I'm probably going to throw the rest of it away.